Elon Musk and SpaceX's Starlink network have revolutionized global internet connectivity. But now, a major development from China has shaken the playing field. Chinese scientists have just pulled off a breakthrough that could threaten the very foundation of Starlink's technology. And they've done it using just a 2-watt laser. Let's unpack what's happened and why this matters. A Chinese team has successfully transmitted data at a blazing speed of 1 gigabit per second using laser communication from a satellite located in geostationary orbit, roughly 36,000 kilometers above Earth. What's astonishing is that they achieved this speed using only a 2-watt laser. For comparison, that's about the brightness of a candle or a small nightlight. Now, let's talk about what makes this so groundbreaking. First, the distance. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, just a few hundred kilometers above Earth. That means they need thousands of satellites to provide coverage. But a satellite in geostationary orbit can maintain a fixed position and cover much larger areas. Yet historically, they've struggled with high-speed data transmission due to distance and atmospheric distortion. This is where the Chinese innovation comes in. Their laser communication system uses a combination of adaptive optics and mode diversity reception. Together, this technique is called AOMDR. Adaptive optics corrects the distortions caused by Earth's atmosphere, while mode diversity reception allows the system to gather even the scattered parts of a laser signal. By working in tandem, these technologies enable a stable and fast connection over extremely long distances. In simple terms, the Chinese satellite managed to transmit data five times faster than Starlink's average speed, from a distance over 60 times farther away. The implications of this are massive. Laser-based satellite internet could potentially offer fiber-optic level speeds from space. That's not just a step forward, it's a leap. And it's not just about faster Netflix streams. This technology could change military communications, emergency response systems, and even interplanetary data transfers. But here's the real headline. This experiment signals that China is not just competing with Starlink. It's innovating in a completely different direction. While Starlink relies on a dense web of low-Earth satellites using traditional radio frequencies, China's method might offer a more elegant solution. High-speed, long-distance, low-power laser communication from fewer satellites in higher orbits. Of course, there are still limitations. Right now, this is a lab-proven concept, not a global rollout. Starlink's low-latency advantage and massive infrastructure give it a clear head start. And the real-world performance of lasers through atmospheric interference like clouds or storms, still needs extensive testing. But this development shifts the narrative. Starlink no longer stands unchallenged in the race to dominate satellite internet. China's move isn't just a technological leap. It's a strategic signal. A signal that they're serious about owning the future of space-based communication. Some experts even speculate that laser communication could usher in a new generation of satellite networks. Think of it as Space Internet 2.0, where lasers replace radio waves and fewer satellites can deliver more bandwidth, with less energy and infrastructure. So, what does this mean for Elon Musk and SpaceX? It's not the end of Starlink, but it is a wake-up call. The space race is evolving. And the next phase won't just be about how many satellites you have. It'll be about how smart, fast, and efficient your communication system is. China's 2-watt laser satellite has just opened a new frontier. And now, all eyes are on how the rest of the world, including Starlink, will respond. Stay tuned. The battle for the future of global internet has only just begun.